for listening. This is a new CW transceiver kit, which is redefining the low end. So I saw the end of the previous presentation, a very nice, uh, very nice looking high end rig. This is redefining the low end of kit construction. So this is a, a single transceiver, uh, CW only transceiver kit. It's available for your choice of band in 80, 60, 40, 30, 20 or 17 meters, any of those bands, single band. It has a very high performance receiver. It has very high sensitivity, dynamic range, IP3, uh, third order intercept. People are saying that this has the performance of a top shelf rig costing you know, 20 times, 30 times the price. You don't have all the DSP features and all the, all the knobs and buttons, but it, in raw performance terms, it's a very high performance radio. It's very easy to build. Um, it's designed to be built all through whole components. There are two SMD components on there, which are already assembled by the factory. It has a very comprehensive 141-page manual that you know, I'm getting very good feedback on. People are saying it's the best they've seen in 60 years of kit building, uh, including heat kit kits. And we have a very active support forum on groups.io and from me personally. So it has synthesized tuning. It's, it covers the whole band. It's not just a, a simple uh, pulled crystal rig. It's a uh, uh, completely synthesized tuning that covers the whole band. Um, it was originally designed for the Yota 2017 summer camp, which was held in the UK in August last year, Region 1 summer camp. And so I had quite tough criteria. It had to be low cost, it had to be easy to build, and that really drove the entire design. But at the same time, I wanted it to be something that was very usable and uh, had a lot of features and was interesting to use and easy for newcomers to use. So it has uh, two VFOs, VFO A, VFO B, split operation. It has RIT, side tone with a configurable volume and, and frequency. It has an inbuilt IM bit here, memory here. It has uh, also a micro switch, which you can see on the bottom right, which is surprising, surprisingly usable as a CW key. I've had uh, over 100 QSOs on that with, just with my finger tapping the key. Um, and it even includes a CW decoder, uh, which was another key consideration for the youth on the air summer camp. Um, some of them hadn't done morphs before, and so it was an introduction to that. It also has uh, frequency memories, message memories. Uh, there's a CW beacon mode, a whisper beacon mode. So I don't know if you're familiar with whisper, the weak signal propagation reporter network. This can be used as a whisper beacon when you're not using it as a CW transceiver. There's a GPS interface which is used for time and frequency discipline of the uh, whisper beacon and also for the location. This is uh, the picture here shows an enclosure so that the basic kit comes as a board alone without the enclosure. This is an enclosure which we'll have available from next week. It's a German designed and produced enclosure. So it has a very efficient class E power amplifier which produces five watts from three very small transi transistors with no heatsink. So this was another important consideration for the Yota to minimize the cost because heat sinks are big, heavy, heavy for shipping. They take board area. That all increases the cost. There's also a, a click, click free keying envelope. There's a key shaping transistor in there, so it sounds very nice on there and gets very good uh, comments. And a solid state, uh, not a relay, a solid state, full or semi QSK transmit receive switch. A very, very nice feature which people are often commenting on is the built-in test equipment. There's even an acronym for this, which I had no idea of, B-I-T-E, BITE, built-in test equipment. I put the test equipment in because I could imagine 15, 20 young people in a room building these things, and they were not going to have 15 or 20 sets of test equipment, oscilloscopes, signal generators, and so on. So it actually has all its own internal built-in uh, adjustment procedure and its own internal signal generator, which you can inject back into the receiver front end to make all the adjustments to the transceiver. So within, literally within a few minutes, by itself, with no additional equipment, you can, you can get 50 or 60 dB of unwanted sideband cancellation and get the bandpass filter trimmed and everything adjusted ready for use. It also includes a general purpose signal generator, which you, you know, people are even using for, for, their, uh, for their lab uh, if they don't have any other equipment. It has a frequency counter, an RF power meter, and a DVM all built in. Uh, finally, this is a picture of my son, who's known as the second lab technician. And uh, this was when he was 21 months old. He loves pressing the key and listening to the side tone. Um, 
so that's a nice picture to finish with. Uh, this is the website, qrplabs.com. My email sells at qrp-labs.com. Uh, I'm Hans Summers, G0UPL. And we have a booth over in Building 6, 6614, where we have these on sale. And also, any questions or anything you want to know about these, um, you can come and ask. So this was uh, launched in August last year and, and has already sold almost 5,000 units. So it's been really, really popular. So any questions from anyone? <laughs> that was a statement, not a question. <laughs> Any questions? All right, thank you very much. Thank you.